Chicago here with my buddy Eric Tate, and we're here to talk about Black Door by Ricardo Berdini. This, what is Black Door? You've already watched, uh, seen some information on it. Black Door is a switching envelope. This allows you to switch one object for another, as long as it fits into this little black envelope. It's quite simply the best switching envelope that I've ever played with. I think that you've ever played with. Mm -hmm. It's really, really cool. It works. Uh, it, the secret is really clever. You can actually hand it out to an audience member to open up, but unless they know the secret method of opening it up, they won't be able to get inside of the other secret chamber. And yeah. accessing that secret chamber is super easy to do for the magician. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, we're talking about a device that's been used for a century at mm -hmm. this point. You know, mentalists have been using these types of switching envelopes for a very long time, but you've never been able to like, I mean, there's old classic methods for this, but you've never really been able to hand the thing to the spectator, have them open it with 100% confidence. But now you can with uh, Ricardo's design of the envelope. Let's take a look inside at what you get, because mm -hmm. you do get this really cool little uh, packaging here that we have that's uh, it's got the P3 logo on the back and the, the logo for the, on the front. And when it opens up, uh, there are instructions printed at the top, but you get two of these envelopes, which mm -hmm. are really nice. And the packaging is really nice, too. I actually, I have a couple of these uh, that I use in my show, and I use this envelope yeah. to store it in my case, this yeah. packaging to store the envelopes in my case so that these don't get bent or wrinkled or right. anything. Right, same here. I, yeah. I definitely store mine in, inside of there. Yeah, the envelopes themselves are very durable and will last lots and lots of performances. But Yeah, it's the, a very common question, mm -hmm. how long do the envelopes last? I mean, they are made of paper. It's high quality paper, it's thicker mm -hmm. than you probably, uh, you know, what, what I don't know the actual like thickness of this, yeah. but it's, you know, um, what am I trying to say? Yeah, it's, the, uh, it's cardstock a, style stuff. Yeah, it's, right. uh, it's not quite craft paper, but it's definitely in that realm where it's gonna work over and over and over again. I actually am still using my first set of black doors. So yeah. it's not, I, I, I think maybe one of them's got like a little bit of a tear, but it's not even, uh, but it's, yeah. it's been through hundreds of performances. Certainly the, the body of the envelope, and I'm just, we're speaking from experience here because we've yeah. used these a ton. Mm -hmm. The body stays perfectly fine. I've only found the only wear comes in on the, on the, um, on the flap, yep. right? I've just got a couple little tears there, but it hasn't stopped me from using the, the one. I probably had no. mine, when did this come out? 2017, yeah. something like that? So these stand up really well. The biggest problem that I've had with Black Door is that it becomes a go-to method yeah, for me over and over and over again. No, like, that's so true. There's so many tricks that I have where I'm like, oh, I'll just use Black Door. And before I realize yeah. it, my entire show is just Black Door <laughs> envelopes and I have to get more creative because it's it's such an easy solution. Yeah, I'm right there with you. Yeah. So let, let's I'll show you guys like what it does um, because there's no, look, the instructional video comes with bunch of tricks, right? Ricardo, who's one of my favorite magicians, mm -hmm. teaches you all sorts of stuff that you can do with the black door. But really, and it goes right to what Eric was saying about a yeah. show, you can do, you'll find solutions for this. This is just a tool, and once you have it, it becomes the solution to every problem that you're having in your show. Uh, but for example, let's just say I could show the envelope empty, so I'd show it to the camera there. Nothing inside the envelope, it showed it to Eric. Anything nope. in there? No, nope. okay, great. I have this blank card. Never seen one of these before? No, never in my life have I seen a blank card. <laughs> <laughs> Today, it's a big day for you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Look, the uh, this is just going to go in there. Is there anything in there? Very fair. All right, here. Hold on to that. Okay. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to have you think of a card while you're holding that. So I'm just going to riffle my thumb down the cards. You okay. just say stop. We'll get you a card. Stop. Right here. Yep. Okay, great. Take a look at that card. Gotcha. Got it. Remember it. I want you to start vi visualizing the ink printing on that blank card. Mm -hmm. So you can see the, uh, the, the suit starting to print, mm -hmm. and the color, and then the, the value of the card. Yep. Can you see it? Yep. What, do you, what, what card are you seeing? Nine of hearts. Really? Yeah. Well, take a look. So notice how the spectator can open the envelope here and they get the, the nine, nine of hearts. hearts. And of course you can show there's nothing else inside the envelope. Yeah, I, I really can. Right. You know, I'm not, this is exactly the way uh, a, a, a normal lay person would open it up. Yeah, and, and uh, they would they would go in there. There's no, there's no way. I mean, yes, they could open the other chamber, but you'd have to know that it ever even existed in the first yeah. place. Yeah, I mean, it's right? it's it's really you really do have to know. So I can just pull this out. I happen to know the secret here, but you can see that the way I open that up, you could go back and rewind this video over and over again. Unless you could tell exactly what I was doing, mm -hmm. you wouldn't know what to look for in opening up the second chamber. And that's the that's the beauty of these envelopes yeah. because. I did mention that there are 
methods for this in the past, but typically those are envelopes that you'd have to get rid of yeah. every performance if you were gonna do something like this. Mm -hmm. Because this is using some magnets to seal things shut in here, you're, you can actually hand these out. Yeah. So unbelievable. I mean, I've, I have used these, you know, it's probably the thing I've used the most of all the things that we've produced over the last, you know, five years or something. Yeah, it's just such an elegant solution mm -hmm. to so many problems in magic. Whether you're doing a like a witch hand routine or a bank night routine. Oh, it's so good uh, for bank night. Switching, uh, <laughs> making things appear, making things vanish. There's all kinds of different uses for Black Door. Yes, bank night. Check that out for sure. Get five of these. Oh. Oh, yeah. that's too good. No, it's no too sliding good. things around. No secretly getting things in and out of envelopes. You just, just hand them out and go for it. We've talked enough. I think so. Black door. We'll see you guys next time.